Hey guys, Joshua here, and today we're going to be taking a look at the ASUS ROG Swift PG248Q Gaming Monitor. The ASUS PG248Q has been out for quite a while, since 2016, but since I featured it in a gaming setup a few weeks back with ASUS, I thought it'd be fair to take a closer look at it, because spoiler alert, it is still an amazing monitor. The display is 24 inches, Full HD display at 1920 by 1080 and is using a TN panel. For the refresh rate, this is native 144Hz and can be overclocked to 180Hz. The monitor has a 1ms response time with a contrast ratio of 1000 to 1. The bezels are not the thinnest ever, but they're thin enough so you can still run multi monitor setups without them being too obtrusive. Moving on to the ports, there is a headphone jack, power input, single display port 1.2, HDMI port, a USB 3.0 pass-through and two USB 3.0 ports for accessories like your keyboard and mouse and they're all laid out very nicely on the back so your cables shouldn't get too messy. Physical controls for the monitor are also located on the back and are very easy to feel for and change your settings with a joystick and dedicated buttons for Game Plus and Game Visual which we'll get into that a bit later. The stand is a rectangular shaped thing but very stable and there is a slight red glow that comes out but you can opt to turn it off. There's also cable management built into the stand to keep your cables tidy and organized. Adjustability on the PG248Q is very flexible. You have a ton of space to tilt the monitor. Adjust the height. Swivel it to the left and to the right. Even rotate the entire screen so you can have it in vertical position to monitor stream chats or access your Lightroom editing controls or check stocks. But if this is not enough, it is also compatible with Visa mounts to mount them to monitor arms. One of the most important facts about this monitor is that this boasts G-Sync, so it will be compatible with your GeForce GTX graphics cards and provide a smoother gaming experience if you need it. ASUS has still included all the usual essentials with low blue light and flicker-free technology built in. Brightness, contrast, the basic settings are all changeable based on your own preferences. But there are also a few settings built in specifically for gamers, which ASUS calls Game Plus and Game Visual Technology. Game Plus has a crosshair setting. Timer. FPS counter and display alignment so you can line up multi-monitor setups easily. While Game Visual, there are 6 presets built into the monitor for FPS, RTS or RPG, Racing, Cinema, Scenery and sRGB. So you can easily toggle between these different settings as you use the monitor which is really very easy to change on the fly because of the dedicated control button on the back. Games look amazing on this especially if you enjoy playing FPS games because with G-Sync and even at only the base 144Hz, games such as CSGO, Overwatch, Fortnite and PUBG display perfectly so you can't blame the monitor if you lose. Overall, this is an amazing monitor even now in 2018, but this comes at a price literally. The ASUS ROG Swift PG248Q comes in at 425 USD and at 829 SGD, so it is definitely on the pricier side, especially since the screen is only 1080p, but you're paying for G-Sync, 144Hz, 1ms response time, so this is definitely more for a niche gaming market. By the way, this is actually the cheapest in the family of ROG G-Sync monitors. They actually sell larger monitors from 25 inches all the way to 34 inches. So if you come all this way, and this is for the people in Singapore, but they're currently selling this on Hachitech. And if you apply the promo code ASUSMTR120 off, you'll be able to get up to 120 SGD off certain models in this ROG family. So I do hope that maybe helps you make your decision. So let me know in the comments if you buy this monitor because if I had unlimited money, I know I would get a ton of this. And also let me know if you'd like to see a review of the higher tier monitors like the 34 inch monitor from the ASUS G-Sync lineup. Like and subscribe for more tech and gaming content and I'll catch you guys later. Bye.